Gates back and away they go. Looks like a pretty level break as well in the circumstances as they make their way through the early stages. Her roof, the red colours, has got away very well. So too has Ursula taking up a nice position as well from stall one. Another one that's prominent in the early stages is Fazat. Right wide on the track at the moment is Awejan. Also rather wide is Bugatti after that uh, rather uh, dramatic attempt at going in. Has actually got into quite a nice position in the run itself. So they sort themselves out here towards the rear of the field at the moment. Nazrat does and have too many behind it and also towards the back is Tarara as they make their way towards the end of the back straight 11.23 and 14.01 to the first two calls and out in front now having got across is Awajan in the black colours the other black colours there towards the outside the 12 Tata Jamal is also prominent then right up the inside rail now forcing through is Solana and it's Solana with the sheepskin noseband that goes on to in second position Awajan they're then followed in third by Tata Jamal then after that in fourth spot Tahadi the striped jacket getting a first mention right round the outside now comes Seba Al Mogtara from the very wide draw but she's got a lot of work to do from there she is though staying on starting to make the turn for home and it's Solana that leads to in second position Awa Jan who had to work to get across there then followed in third position by Tahadi who's trying to stay on after that from the back comes Najmat Al Shaib as they come towards the closing stages Solana out in front Najmat Al Shaib is finishing quite well down the centre of the track Tahadi as well Solana though is holding them all at bay at the moment in the hands of Adel Alfaredi leads by length or so. Down the centre comes Tahadi in the striped jacket. On the scene late, Tahadi is beginning to get up, and it's Tahadi who goes on to win the first. All lined up and they're off and racing and well I say that Ajaj Albari doesn't want to come out that one has been left at the start and has fact unsheeted, unseated the rider as well Abdullah Al Hussein is out of uh, the side door Montera Alamal goes on from a very wide gate flashing good early speed that one also prominent is Saif Barzan the international favourite there in the black and white Czech colours another one uh, that's got into a good early posse as well is Salafar the grey horse there in black and white colours towards the near side poking up is Leith Al Shuil. That's horse number two. But they're quite well strung out here already as they make their way through the first 400 metres or so and ticking along at 58 kilometres per hour. And it's Montera Alamal that leads to in second position up the inside, Safe Barzan. Ospina has got his usual posse there right on the rail. Then towards the outer, Salafar racing in third. Then up the inner, Leith Al Shuil. Towards the back of the field at the moment, Hazwa Judah. And also towards the rear is Eitabat Al Sanger as they start to make the turn here. 800 metres in 52.34 four seconds and still out in front is Montera Alamal leads now by a couple of lengths to Safe Barzan who's being driven along by Ospina in second position they're then followed in third by Leith Al Shawil who's trying to stay on making a decent fist of it as well is now challenging Safe Barzan for second posse then after that the LM Salafar not many of these have got into this as they start to make the turn for home now they're well inside the final 400 meters and Montera Alamal for Abdullah Al Kraid has got a good start and has zipped into a lead and hasn't given it up yet, just looking a little bit tired in the closing stages now, Leith al Shuhil for Fahed al Faredi is staying on, flagged up by Shamila in the parade ring, but as they go inside the final half furlong now, still out in front Montera Alamal, could really rather do with the line though, it looks like it's just about going to come in time, racing up towards the line, Montera Alamal the winner.
And they're off and racing for the third on the card, this filly's handicap. And a good start was made by Compliant in the orange sheepskin noseband. Anud al Mogtara, the red colours, is also prominent there with a the white bridle. Another one that's making good early headway is Latin as they head on through the early part of the race. Another one that's gone on is uh, Sail on Silverbird from uh, the inside as well. So it's Sail on Silverbird that leads in the early stages now, showing much better pace from the gates than she did on debut. Mistrix is racing in second. Second, followed then by Nura Lelia, who's getting into this uh, from a uh, position in mid-division. Then after that, uh, we have uh, uh, Anud al Mogtara, who's just off the back of the speed, and then Hard al Gamam, who's also up there too. But this uh, sail on Silverbird, well, she's sailed on by at the moment. She's three or four lengths in front to Mistrix in second. Then up the inside in third, Anud al Mogtara. Then towards the outer in fourth position, the red and black colours there of Hard al Gamam. Towards the back of the field, Mathayel is just about last, also struggling at the moment is Silk Adjaman starting to make the turn round this long sweeping bend at Riyadh and it's Sail on Silverbird to in second position Mistrix the blue cap up the inside now Anud al Mogtara has got a slightly better run Compliant the orange sheepskin noseband uh, the same colours or the same ownership as the leader is now in the fourth spot ahead of a flailing around Had al Gamam who's in fifth uh, trying to stay on a little bit from the back of the field is Nur Alelia but as they start to make the turn for home Sail on Silverbird is still the leader and she's about about three lengths to the good to Anud al Mogtara, who's in second position. Then in third spot, Mistrix trying to stay on his hand. Al Gamam now as they go inside the final very short, very furlong, very shortly. And it's Sail on Silverbird. She's still out in front. She's getting a little bit tired. Had Al Gamam is staying on from the back. Sail on Silverbird. Had Al Gamam is making up terrific ground towards the center of the track, up towards the line. Tight. The big field, 20 of them there off and racing for this 0-80 handicap and Baroud has made a pretty good start from over there in stall two. Another one that's uh, prominent in the early stages is Tomahawk in those light blue colours. One that's making a move right across the track to join in is Abo Alazem and it's Abo Alazem who's taken quite a hold who's come through to just about lead here to in second position Mabry in those red stable colours. Baroud and Tomahawk are in third and fourth. Freshwater Cliffs has taken up a very similar posse to that which he took uh, when finishing second last time so is in a nice get position as far as uh, the rest of the field is concerned. They're then followed uh, by uh, Caraveno, who's in very, very similar colours to Union Strength, but uh, nothing to really distinguish them. Uh, Carabaino, though, is prominent along with Union Strength as they start to make the turn and head on into the back straight. Towards the back of the field at the moment, Raffio hasn't got too many behind it. In fact, I'd say Raffio was last. And also towards the back of the field, Capitulation and Mezbar Al-Amal. So they make their way down the far side of the track. And uh, going on into the lead is Freshwater Cliffs in the orange colours to, in second position, Abo Al Azam, that's your leading duo. They're then followed by Tomahawk, the red colours of Mabry towards the outer, then Barud up the inside. Towards the outer now, Elam Al Samawi, the yellow colours with a garish yellow headgear, is making good headway. They're then followed right up the inside rail there by Barud, he hasn't got a bad posse. Then towards the outside, Fusion Gold is up with the pace as well, as indeed is Walad Um Al Dawi, and Gakali Warrior is just creeping into this as well. So it's a pretty well grouped up field that's making its way out of the back straight now and it's Freshwater Cliffs that leads them at the moment to in second position maybe the Red Jacket now being driven along towards the outside Elam Al Samawi then right up the inner is Dramatic Device oh, sorry not Dramatic Device Tomahawk who's still there as well but look at this Freshwater Cliffs has gone well clear the stall has been set out a long way from home here by Thurbal Timyat he's gone six or seven lengths to the good to Mabry who's racing in second then after that in third Gurkali Warrior who is now trying to stay on but they're all going to have to stay on extremely well to get involved from here I reckon Freshwater Cliffs who was beaten by probably quite a progressive one last time out is miles clear of the rest of the field to in second position Gurkali Warrior who's getting going but probably a little bit too late here comes Dramatic Device getting into it late as well but this Freshwater Cliffs is a long long way clear Freshwater Cliffs with Thurbal Timyat by six or seven lengths at the line Freshwater Cliffs has gone on to score
Gates back and away they go, very slowly away. Dream with me, asleep in the cupboards as the Gates went back there and has lost seven or eight lengths as they make that relatively short run down towards the turn out of the home streak. This 2,100 metre race involving a bit more than the circuit of the track. And uh, the early lead is in the hands of Michelon in that rather dark purple jacket. Step by step is also prominent as well, followed then by Mabdak, the green cap. Then right round the outside, we have Bismillah Alley, who's trying to get into a decent posse. But uh, this leader is kicking on here. Michelon has suddenly gone three lengths to the good over in second position, step by step, who in turn is well clear of the rest of the field. Billy Batts now moving forward into a more prominent position. Mabdak is in fourth, followed then up the inside by Coco Kabala. Also there in mid-division is Rajil at the moment, taking the turn slightly wide as Pepperoni Pete as they make their way onto the far side of the track. And it's Michelon who's out in front still by about three to three and a half lengths to step by step the white cap racing in second then in third Billy Bats the blue and white colours followed then by Rajil towards the outside in fourth then up the inside Bismillah Alley the six is racing in fifth spot in mid division at the moment then Mabdak followed by Pepperoni Pete who continues to race out wide then Dream With Me the slow start has actually made up a position or two followed then by Coca Cabal who seems to be coming back through the field and Wild Rhythm is towards the rear as well making the turn out of the back straight he's having a look behind uh, out in front is uh, the, the rider Mohammed Suleiman aboard Michelon uh, still leads by a couple of lengths to in second position now Billy Bats as they make the, the swing for home Michelon a step by step now out in front to in second position Billy Bats then followed in third position by an attempting to stay on Bismillah Rene so they're starting to make the swing for home now just under two furlongs left to go and it's step by step that leads them step by step the leader here now comes Billy Bats and also Bismillah Rene as they come towards the closing stages they're inside the final 200 meters now step by step being gobbled up by Bismillah Relay. Bismillah Relay quickly by two or three lengths and racing up towards the line Bismillah Relay, a very good winner the form was pranked in the previous race and uh, has now gone and done it here as well Bismillah Relay, the winner Racing for uh, this 1,200-meter uh, race on the turf and a good start from Rustam Basher has bagged the rail in the early stages to Mtaz, who's also prominent as well in the green colours. Tikrit is in danger of being uh, caught out wide. They went without the 10-horse Dolma. Then after that, Yamtaz, who's up the inside rail there in the red colours. Then Waradem, followed then by Al Washmi, who's now just advancing positions. Uh, Habi Valanair is hopelessly outpaced at the moment, and Alpha Sem's got a bit to do from there as well. 400 metres in 24.5, and it's Rustam Basher that leads to Mtaz the green sleeves round the outside followed then in third by a driven along Al Washmi then up the inside Yam Taz who's now just making a little bit of headway as they start to make the swing for home with just over 400 metres left to go and it's Rustam Basher that leads them at the moment Mtaz though has been a persistent threat on the outside Rustam Basher at Mtaz followed then by Yam Taz who's trying to stay on as well Rustam Basher the grey cap the far side Mtaz the green cap the near and it's Mtaz who's just beginning to get on top can Rustam Basher fight back they've been at each other's throats for a long way as the race inside the final half furlong now Rustam Basha is getting back up Rustam Basha and Mtaz in the race up towards the line, Rustam Basha Gates back and away they go. They are racing for this uh, Saudi Cup contest, the Al Imam Mohammed Ben Saud Cup. And a good start was made by Inimir in the uh, blue cap. Also prominent in the early stages, his first line flashing loads of speed. So too washed Al Mohammedir. That's your leading trio at the moment. Just slotting in is Basul, who's not too far away, about two or three lengths off the pace. They're then followed by Yamari, who's just uh, nestled in behind them as well. Towards the outer, Karim is showing good pace. So too there as well as Hut Al-Khorin but as they start to make the turn 
turn round this long sweeping bend and it's Wash Al Mohammadia who leads them to in second position in Amir is now being driven along first line is up the inside still traveling very strongly then up the inside Najbat Al Mahafil driven along Basu will now try to get involved is now extricated for a run then after that uh, try to stay on as well towards the outside we have Karim but as they come towards the closing stages it's first line that leads them in the hands of Alexis Moreno to Wash Al Mohammadia then down the center of the track is in Amir Basul is getting going but oh so much to do inside the closing stages they go and it's first line who stuck to the inside rail and flashed plenty of speed and is going to win first line for Alexis Moreno at the double They go, they're racing. Very, very awkward start from Al Khazar in the Imam Turkey bin Abdullah sword, a listed contest. And a good early pace has been shown by Nanawa getting into a posse there. Uh, one of the horses in the Czech colours also pressing on uh, from a bit wider out is Kazwarat Al Khaladir. Uh, the favourite at the moment sits in around about fourth or fifth spot. Uh, that's uh, the three horse Asfan Al Khaladir just off the speed. Remember back at his best trip. Uh, principal market rival Ajib Al Zaman is a little bit wider at the moment racing in around about fourth just going on then from uh, Asfan Al Khaladir. Then up the inside uh, racing uh, along the rail is Hamdani Khaled Al Khaladir. Then after that we have uh, Risk uh, Al Khaladir. Also towards the back of the field uh, is uh, Al Khazar, the slow starter, as indeed was Romani. Didn't get away particularly well. And Al Hareth is towards the rear of the field as well. But it's Kazurat Al Khaladir that leads at the moment to Ghazi Al Zaman, who's racing in second. Najib Al Zaman is round the outside. Here comes the jolly old favourite now, Asfen Al Khaladir, throwing down a challenge in the blue cap. But out in front is Najib Al Zaman as they hit the lane. Najib Al Zaman. But here up the inside now comes Asfan Al Khaladir. The big clash between the pair has materialised. A long gap back to third and Kazrat Al Khaladir inside the final 300 metres. Near side, Najib Al Zaman. The far side, Asfan Al Khaladir. Battle joined as they go towards the final furlong. Asfan Al Khaladir just to Najib Al Zaman who's battling back. Very little to choose between the pair. Asfan Al Khaladir by about half a length to Najib Najib Al Zaman, Asfan Al Khaladir, slowly but surely increasing the advantage and going on to score Asfan Al Khaladir. And they're off and racing for the King Fahad Cup. And Hasna Ale Red got a pretty good start uh, and is the early leader. Uh, just uh, trying to get across now. Not a particularly good start, actually, Mostaway, but the international market's favourite. Just being knocked around a little bit there to try and get a decent posse. Other pace uh, comes from uh, 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 the horse out wide there, Gassamar, in the green colours. Now being forced forward is Motas away, but does that do quite a work to, bit of work to get there? They're then followed up the inside by Hasna Ale Red in the red colours. Also there is Shaik, who showing good pace as well. Towards the outside, Min Baraya, one of the outsiders, is uh, quite prominent as well. So too then Aldafla, who's in mid-division at the moment, field trailing all the way back to Sina, who's just beginning to struggle as they make their way around this long sweeping bend. And out in front is Gassamar, leading by about half a length or so to Shaik, who's racing in second. Then up the inside in third, trying to get a little bit nearer, is Hasna Aldareba. Uh, then right after that, uh, the uh, white colours there of Istitea, now getting a good bit closer for Camilo Ospina, who's sneaking around the inside they're making the swing for home out in front Shaik leads by about a length and a half here now making nice headway as Ayat al Mohammadia moves into second then Istitea into third now down the center of the track uh, comes al Hasuma as well struggling must away but nothing from that one here comes Istitea breaking through now to take it up and it's Istitea and Camilo Ospina but here comes al Hasuma down the center of the track then Ayat al Mohammadia but it's Camilo Ospina that leads aboard Istitea here now finishing very strongly is 
Adabar from a long way off the speed. Adabar, the green and yellow colours of the sheepskin noseband, has gobbled them all up. Adabar, the winner. Cup over the 2,000 metres in Tejin, right up the inside, got away quite well, trying to get across from a wide position is Harvey, the white distinguishing red stable cap there, also up with the early pace towards the outside is Adat in the red white stable distinguishing cap there, December is caught out a little bit wide at the moment as Intergene has now gone back through the field after quite a good start, Adate isn't too far away in the two-tone blue colours and there in mid-division at the moment is Masum al Nayyab. 400 metres in 20 24.81 so they are booking around here as they make their way towards the turn out of the back straight very shortly and coming through the lead is Harvey Harvey out in front to Adat who races in second then in third position Adate the two-tone blue colours then December who's wide on the track followed then by Alka Fiwaj then up the inside Marde quite a few of these outsiders prominent at the moment they're then followed by the grey horse the blue colours of the sheepskin nosebat of Masum al Nayef. still towards the rear of the field at the moment is Dejar Intergene who got a good start has been shunted back through the field as they start to make the turn now along this round around this long sweeping bend and it's Harvey that leads to Adat around the outer in second these two followed then by Adate who's racing in third December is very wide on the track but trying to make a little bit of headway now weaving through is Masum al Nayef moving into a share of fifth place along with Wakeda as they start to make the turn for home now and it's still Harvey uh, one of the outsiders who leads at the moment but here right round the outside comes December and it's December coming through now to take it up leads to Adate who now moves into second here now making good headway is Masum al Nair into a more prominent position but still has plenty to do from there as it's December that leads inside the closing stages December by three or four lengths to Masum al Nair who's not got a great deal to find and it's December and Wigberto Ramos out in front here as they go inside the closing stages December by four or five lengths trying very hard to catch his Masum al Nair but as they race up towards the line December for Wigberto Ramos has scored. and racing for the King Faisal Cup. Scotland Yard didn't get away particularly well, just a step slow from the gates as they make their way through the early stages of the 1600 metres on offer. An expressionist has got away quite well. The 10 horse into a prominent posse. Groom is also right up the rail there and races quite nicely up with the pace. Another one that's making good early headway is Carmel Road, as indeed uh, is Power of Beauty, who gets into a good early position as well. The 17, there's quite a bit of speed on here. 65 kilometres per hour they're ticking over at as they go through the first 400 metres. Also prominent there is expressionist. Then after that up the inside making movies who's quite up with the pace as well towards the rear of the field at the moment spirit of Nguru also towards the back Emirates currency Scotland Yard after a slowish beginning is now creeping into this and finest sound for James Doyle is quite prominent too there in the red colours 800 metres at 46.62 seconds and it's power of beauty that leads them at the moment to in second position Carmel Road the green cap and Camilo Ospina here comes finest sound now for James Doyle Scotland Yard is being asked a question or two now needs to finish for Alexis Moreno is getting into it, bit of a gap back then, the final destination, they've swung for home Power of Beauty, the leader, to in second position Carmel Road and Camilo Ospina Scotland Yard trying to get going still boxing on as well as Finest Sound but look at this, Carmel Road by three or four lengths, Camilo Ospina on a, what turned out to be quite a, a big price the, uh, outsider here, Carmel Road well well clear and is zipping away to score, eight, nine, ten lengths clear and up towards the line, Camilo Ospina, goodness me Carmel Road, the winner.
they're off and racing for the King Saud Cup 12th and final race on this Super Saturday here at uh, Riyadh and making their way through the early part of the race. One that wants to get across is Wooten Sun in the blue distinguishing cap. Also prominent there is Tathbeat as they make their way through the first couple hundred metres or so. Also up at the pace is Eagle's Flight, the sheepskin noseband there, predominantly green jacket, followed then by Go Fast Trow Land, who's now working across to try and get a posse right towards the uh, rail. Looking back through the field at the moment, Mostal is just about the back marker. Also towards the rear of the field is Al Marmoon Gate. We'll have to do well to win from there. Favourite Derivos in mid-division at the moment, James Doyle in that yellow distinguishing cap just on the outside there of Man of the Night, who's also just advancing position somewhat. But they're going along at a decent clip here as they make their way towards the end of the back straight. 800 metres in 47.47 seconds. Cliffs of Fury just about the leader to in second position Eagles Flight. They've kicked on. Here now comes Tath Beat towards the outside. So it's Cliffs of Fury. Uh, then on the inside, the green colours of Eagles Flight. Then Tath Beat getting a bit closer now is Wooten Sun in the blue cap here comes Go Fast Trow Land right up the inner zipping along the rail then after that Derivo last year's winner who's trying to get involved Man of the Night trying to weave its way through as well starting to make the turn for home and still your leader is Cliffs of Fury for Khaled Al Mimoni two on the outside in second position Tath Beat these two very similar colours Tath Beat the near side Cliffs of Fury the far and it's Tath Beat who now goes on Tath Beat takes it up the Cliffs of Fury in second Wooten Sun is trying to stay on in third position, followed then in fourth by Eagles Flight. And then after that, the rest as they make their way inside the closing stages. Taft Beat still just about the leader. Here comes James Doyle on board Derivo, powering down the centre of the track. Wooten Sun there as well. Wooten Sun and Derivo, the red stable carving this up. Wooten Sun the far side, near side Derivo. Wooten Sun is finding a bit more. And it's Wooten Sun, a last minute reserve, who got his chance at the 11th hour, who goes on to win.